You what? Finish, sir. Bring your book up here. Good. Very good. You can go back to your seat. Why do we have two sexes? Why are they so different? That's a difficult one. But I suppose they're different because men and women have different functions in life. It's all to do with hormones and things. But why do we need two? Well, you have to have male and female to make babies. Yes, I know that. But what I want to know is why. Why do we have to have two to make one? It doesn't seem very, very efficient, does it? I don't know. I've never thought about it like that. It's just the way things are arranged. Yes, but how did they get arranged like that? And why? I have no idea. What a strange question. Look, perhaps you and I could talk about this another time, eh? OK. Can I go around to Collins for a while? He's got a new video game he wants to show me. All right. But do your homework first. What? No, I can't. I asked my mother. She doesn't know either. Hello. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just the way things are. Well, the time the world takes to turn round is a day, and that's 24 hours, and... I don't know why, and I don't see why 32 hours would be more sensible. Anyway, 24 hours do make a day, everybody knows that, and seven days make a week. Well, who wants a week to divide into halves and quarters? What would be the point of it? A week just is seven days, and four weeks makes a month. Only usually it's 30 days, or 31 days. No, it's never 32 days. You've got a thing about 32. Yes, I can see that. But we don't want a week that lasts eight days. Besides, the world goes round the sun in 365 and a bit days, and you can't turn that into proper halves and quarters. Well, there are 12 of these months in a year, so... Oh, it's not just stupid. It's like that, because no kind of the same size months would fit into a year properly, even if... Hi, Matthew! Hi! Fixed it? Yes. Main problem was dirt in the carburetor. Like some coffee? Yeah, but don't you bother, I'll make it. Matthew's gone over to Colin's house. You haven't noticed anything odd? Well, not exactly odd. Uh, unusual about Matthew lately. Oh, so you've noticed, have you? Was he listening to nothing or talking to himself? Yes, talking. Well, both, really. Has he been doing it for long? A couple of days. I expect it's just a craze. It'll probably wear off soon. You worried about him? No. If I'm worried about anybody, it's us. Us? I'm terrified we might have another piff on our hands. Oh, no, not another piff. Anything but that. Oh, I don't think it's very likely. Twelve-year-old boys don't go in for that sort of thing. I'm glad you think so. He's probably practising for the debating society or something. Mind you, what I just heard was hardly standard school debating society stuff. What was he talking about? 
You seem to be carrying on some sort of argument as to why there should be seven days in a week rather than eight, and why there are never 32 days in a month. Yes, he does seem to have changed quite suddenly this last week or so. How? Well, I don't know. Well, well, the questions he asks, for one thing, like, why do we need to have two sexes, and where exactly is Earth? Well, he probably thought about that after going to the planetarium. Well, perhaps. Only there were others, too, and somehow, well, they're not his sort of questions. Oh, I'm sure it's just a phase he's going through. No, it's a sudden change. It's as if he's switched to another track altogether. Well, I don't think you should make too much of it, darling. There's bound to be a perfectly simple explanation. Something they're doing at school, perhaps. Yes. I expect so. I don't know. I give up. Why does the cow stop? No, it's not a riddle. It's a question. Why? Why does the cow stop what? Well, it gets a bit of the way, and then it doesn't seem to be able to get any further. Not ever. I'm still not with you, I'm afraid. Where does it get a bit of the way? What I mean is, when the cowman opens the gates, the cows will know it's milking time. And he'll troop off to the milking shed without being told. Yes. And when they get there, they go into their own stalls and wait to be milked. I've seen them. When it's over, they go back into the field again. They understand about that. You see? That's right. But they don't go any further. They just stop there. Oh, you mean they stop understanding? Yes. They don't want to stay in this field. So if they find a hole in the fence, they get out. So if they want to get out, why they just open the gates for themselves? They could do quite easily, couldn't they? I don't know. Well, they don't know how to, I suppose. Yes, but why? Why don't they? They must have seen the cowman do it hundreds of times. They've got enough brains to remember which door to go into every time. Then surely they can remember how the gate opens. What did you say to him? I just tried to explain about limited intelligence. And did he accept that? <laughs> Not entirely. But you do see what I mean about him asking different sorts of questions these days? I do. We spend the rest of the walk discussing the subject. Here, I can't do this. Do you want to have a go at this new video game? I'm no good at video games. That's only because you don't work at it. The secret of any game is practice. You can start at level one if you like. But how do you practice the video games? It's all to do with your reflexes, man. You've got to get them sharp. And your fingers. You could do exercises to get your fingers fit. Like sending them out jogging. <laughs> Announcing the great new sport, finger jogging. Ta-ra! Ta-ra! Enter now for the great finger marathon. No tracksuit required. Hey, you did it. Yes. That was great, Matt. We should have had a watch in you. That was fantastic. Yes. No. What's up? Nothing. Nothing's up. I'll get this game set up. It'd be funny if we suddenly found ourselves with a boy genius on our hands, wouldn't it? You don't suddenly discover boy geniuses. They're born that way. I suppose there could be something latent waiting to be triggered off. I sincerely hope not. You don't fancy having an Einstein in the family? No, I don't. Wouldn't you like him to be something special? Well, he is something special. To me. Yes, of course he is. Here we are. They should have all the new models here. Inside himself. Talking? How do you mean? Like inside your head? No. I don't know anybody. Do you? No. I was just wondering. 
Hearing voices is well known for 